Hey guys, it's Nivy17 here with another Injustice Gods Among Us video. Today I will be doing Challenge 5 on standard difficulty of the Deathstroke Arkham Origins challenge. So let's go do it. For this challenge, I have to have Green Arrow on my team. So I'm going to be assembling my team here with Green Arrow on it. I'm going to start out and just put the regular old bronze Green, ar green Arrow on it. Mine happens to be Elite 7, level 45. I'm going to be tackling on... I would put Lobo, but he's not maxed out. So I'm going to look for a card that is maxed out. I'll be putting on Regime Superman, Superman since he's maxed out. I'll put the Flash the in Flash. there too. I'm going to give Regime Superman. Superman my Power Gloves card. If you watch any of my previous videos, you know how I feel about Power Gloves. They're amazing. Superman. Cheapest card to upgrade to as well. So, the first fight in the challenge, folks, is going to be against level 12s, Red Sun, Superman, Deathstroke, and Black Adam. From the start, it's going to cost 10,000 credits to skip a fight. Every fight in this challenge tower costs 3 energy, so that's a lot of change. There's 15 fights in this one total. So, let's start this. Random crit from the beginning of the fights. What I love about my power gloves. It's a beautiful thing. Three hits to finish Red Sun Superman, two hits to finish Black Adam, two hits to finish Deathstroke. First fight's in the bag, and it will give us 270 credits. All right, starting off. Almost near the 300s. Going on to the second fight in the challenge, it will be against level 12 Zod, level 12 Solomon Grundy, level 12 Regime Doomsday. Skip this fight as well. It's 10,000 credits. Look at Zod looking all cool. Not so cool when you get punched in the face by the Man of Steel. Three hits to kill Zod. I got two crits though. I got about two hits to kill Doomsday right there. Comes in Solomon Grundy. Beat me up a bit. Takes about roughly three hits to put Solomon Grundy down. So... For the second fight in the tower, we get 290 credits. This all adds up, man. It's, the credits are nice. Moving on to the third fight in the challenge. It's against level 14's Hot Girl, Black Adam, and Nightfall Bane. I will be switching out my, my team after this. And to skip this fight, it also costs 10,000 credits as well. Again. Down goes Hot Girl... Down goes Black Adam, and down goes Bane. For the third fight in the challenge, it gives us 310 credits. So, moving on to the fourth challenge, it's going to have chaos on it, but before I can start, I'm going to have to switch my team out. I'm going to put Bane. Got to switch out Green Arrow. Going to put the silver one on there when I get over there. And going to put just uh, Green, Lantern. Green Lantern in there. Actually going to go back to Bane and give him the sh uh, Power Gloves real quick. Because he is the weakest gold card. Alright, third, fourth fight in the challenge is against level 14's Regime Aquaman, Catwoman, and the Joker with a random challenge of chaos on so random tagging Batman looks so focused in this Batmobile all right so as I said before Bane is the weakest gold card so it's gonna take a little bit longer to complete his fights took about five heavy attacks to put regime Aquaman out of business got a crit on Catwoman so finished her in two and raging slammed Joker took one so I've never got that to 200 maxed out ever four fight yielded us 330 credits moving on to the fourth no the fifth yeah the fifth fifth fight is against 16 level 16's Mortal Kombat Scorpion Insurgency Lex Luthor and Regime Doomsday and the fights are now costing 15,000 credits to skip Get another picture of Batman in the Batmobile. Again. No. 
So it's looking roughly five heavy attacks to finish. A gold card. Even with the crit hit, it's going to take four hits to beat Doomsday. And it took four to beat Lex. Fifth fight is in the bag, and we will be getting 350 credits already. Still haven't got that random credit bonus, but I'm expecting it to be 12,000. Moving on to the sixth fight. It is against level 16's Regime the Flash, Black Adam Regime, and Regime Green Lantern. It's 15,000 credits to skip it. And now they're starting to put the gold cards in the middle. Like an Oreo sandwich. Down goes the Flash in two hits. Black Adam hits me angry. And then I'm going to Rage Slam Green Lantern to death. Just like that. Six fags. Six fight is in the bag. And it is giving us 370 credits. Going to have to change my cards out here. Going to put in... I would put in Black Adam, but he's not full energy. Gonna scroll all well. First is first. Gonna put in Arrow, Green Arrow. Gonna cycle down and put in. Whoa. Superman. Red Sun, Superman. Superman. And Solomon Grundy, Silver Card. The seventh fight is against level 18's Regime Cyborg, John Stewart Green Lantern, and Green Arrow. Fight still costs 15,000 credits to skip. I don't have that. 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 I haven't gotten on the challenge booster pack yet. Oh, there goes the random barrier of Green Lantern, which makes him so annoying to fight against. And in he comes. He triggers his barrier. Great thing about the barrier is you can still hit it and generate power. It just, they won't take any damage. So. Well, that fight's over and we will be getting 390 credits. That is the seventh fight. We'll be on the eighth fight soon. Speaking of the 8th fight, it is against level 18's Catwoman, Regime Aquaman, and Insurgency Lex Luthor with Countdown. Fight still costs 15,000 credits to skip. Get roughly, I think it was a minute and 50 seconds to beat all three characters. That's way beyond generous. But you saw how fast Catwoman went down. In comes Lex. Down goes Lex. It's about 19 seconds. 18 seconds. We'll be getting... There it is. 12,410. It's the random credit bonus. So I was right. It's 12,000. And that was the 8th fight in the challenge. Moving on to the ninth. And it is against level 20s, Regime, Doomsday, Red Sun, Solomon Grundy, and Insurgency, Harley Quinn. Now fights will cost 20,000 credits to skip. Down goes Def uh, Doomsday. In comes Grundy. Grundy ate three heavy attacks. So roughly five heavy attacks from Red Sun Superman put him out. And then a level one special knocked out Harley Quinn. And that was the ninth fight. So we got six more fights to go. Two more two more changes. We got 430 credits for the ninth fight in the challenge tower. And I'll be just changing two members. I'm going to put Aquaman in. And they're going to scroll all the way over. All the way over. 
to the right and put in regime Wonder Woman. Gonna recharge my green arrow because my other arrows are still out of energy as well. We are on the 10th fight and it is against level 20's Deathstroke, Regime Raven, and Regime Nightwing. 20,000 credits to skip. Down goes Deathstroke, down goes Raven. Pretty easy, gonna finish Nightwing off with the level two special because meleeing him to death is annoying. For that fight, we got 450 credits. Moving on to the 11th fight, it is against level 21 Bane, Zod, and Solomon Grundy. 20,000 credits to skip that fight if you want to, folks. Lex Luthor. So I like rent. I bought uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC on a cell for my PS3 and I started playing it. Oh boy, it. Am I the only one that thinks it's bad? It just seems awful. The combat just seems a little, I don't know, arcadey. Very arcadey. Well, Bane and Zod went down relatively easy. Solomon Grundy sticking it in. He ate a couple of heavy attacks, but now he's out. All in all, the easy fight, loving fight in the bag. We get 470 credits for that fight. Moving on to the 12th. And our 12th fight is against level 22's Insurgency Joker, Bane, and Catwoman with Damper Field on. 20,000 credits to skip as well. After this, we only have three more fights to go. Boy, Joker took him almost half my health right there. Knocked out Catwoman, in comes Bane. Can I finish him off with one hit from the shield? I sure can. Down he goes. 12th fight is in the bag, and we get 490 credits. All right, so I'm going to have to switch out my team for the last time. See what we get. Gonna put in, oops, gonna put in Regime Bane, and let's put in Doomsday. Doomsday. Gonna put Doomsday in, recharge my arrow. Alright, and the 13th fight is against level 23's Aquaman, Regime Aquaman, Regime Superman, and Regime The Flash. 20,000 credits to skip this. Boy, Doomsday just towers over him. I don't know if you guys are comic book readers, but okay, so there's this other YouTube channel that I watch called Variant, and they review... You know, they just give you little uh, reviews of DVD, animation DVDs, comic histories, and all that stuff. And I was watching it the other day, and they had one on, they'll give you like a buyer's list of what you should buy that's comic book related. And one of them was, they got this comic book line going out where Superman becomes Doomsday. I was like, what? That is a crazy idea. I probably have to go buy me a copy of that. All right, so the 13 challenge in the bag, is, and it's going to give us 510 credits. Moving on to the 14 challenge, it will be against... Level 24's Regime, Batgirl, I mean, <laughs> Regime, Batgirl, New 52, Nightwing, and Martian Manhunter. The guy I can't stand at all. 20,000 credits to skip this fight. 
But yeah, that is an amazing I idea. Super, what if Superman became Doomsday? Oh my goodness. I can only imagine the havoc he would be just throwing down. Boy, look at that freeze frame. That girl starts off with a level 1 special. I block it. She eats a couple of my uh, heavy attacks. In comes Block City Master himself. Overly aggressive Block City. Can't stand him. Martian Master. Down he goes. Batgirl's back, girl's back, back, girl's back, back in. in. Uses another one of her level 1 specials. Blocked it. Got the hero killer on her. Here comes Nightwing. There goes Nightwing. Nightwing, New 52's job trait is a piece of garbage. It's awful. Well, the 14th fight, we get 530 credits, and we will be doing the final fight, which is against Deathstroke, Arkham Origins. And it says, mini boss challenge, Deathstroke, Arkham Origins, overpower Deathstroke, and slay him to your team. So it doesn't look like there's a random challenge on. He's level 24, and he has 500, 5,355 attack and 11,000 HP. Costs us 30,000 credits to skip this fight. So he has the same fighting stance as all the other ones. He looks pretty badass. But I got him already to half health already. Not seeing anything special from him. Oh, uh, but that went through my block right there, so. And he got all kinds of crits on it. But it was an easy fight, of course. 14 seconds, and we will be getting 1,100 and, yeah, 1,100 credits from that fight. I completed the challenge. It's going to tally up and give them to me. And there you have it. Arkham Origins Deathstroke. 1,147 attack. 1,485 1, health. Alright, well that's going to conclude my Challenge Battle 5 video for today. If you liked my video, throw a thumbs up its way. Comment on my video what you think about it. Subscribe to my channel if you like my video. I'll be having more Injustice videos in the future. And as always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.